<coughs> Check this out, this is just nasty. These are all the germs that you can transmit when you cough without a mask. Kerajaan telah membuat keputusan mulai daripada 1 hari bulan Ogos pemakaian pelitup muka di dalam pengangkutan awam dan tempat-tempat awam yang bersesak-sesak adalah diwajibkan. The government has made the use of face masks compulsory in crowded public spaces starting August 1st. And that means all of us will have to play a part in reducing the spread of COVID-19. So I decided to team up with Sunway University's Department of Biological Sciences to show how germs like COVID-19 are easily transmitted from person to person via respiratory droplets and how a face mask can help reduce that spread. First, we placed four Petri dishes on a table, each at different lengths. Then with and without a surgical mask, I talked, coughed and sneezed. Because germs are too small to be seen with the naked eye, we then proceeded to put the dishes into an incubator for them to grow and waited 24 hours for the results. 24 hours later. So we waited for 24 hours. Let's check the results for all the coughing, sneezing and talking without masks. When a face mask was not worn, we found that the dishes located less than a metre from where I sat had a substantial growth of germs. However, the number of germ colonies on the Petri dishes located one meter away was significantly fewer. And this is without masks. Mm -hmm. And now we move on to two meters. And this is the good part where there's no growth at all in all of these activities. So this is like why social distancing is important because the farther you are uh, apart from each other, like even without a mask, you're still going to get, you know, at least some, uh, some protection just by being apart from the other person. Indeed, social distancing plays a role. But the results were vastly different when a face mask was worn. Right, so with surgical masks, what we observe, that over the course of distance, we don't see any growth, but then, like you know, nothing. nothing. We also tested the effectiveness of a three-ply cloth mask, which costs less and is reusable and the results were similar to the surgical mask. Actually, when you think about the experiments that we just did, there are three take-home messages. The first is that even though, as I speak, you can't really see the water droplets, or as I sneeze, there are germs, and these germs can be transmitted. The second is social distancing matters, as seen in the experiments, be it talking, be it sneezing, or be it coughing. As we went from 0 to 0 0.5 to 1 meter, you notice that the amount of germs that were growing in those plates reduced significantly or were not even detectable. And the third take-home message is that if social distancing is not possible, masks matter. Until we find something that is safe and effective and provides public confidence that it can protect us against COVID-19, I would like to urge the public to at least practice these three measures. Wash our hands, wear masks and practice social distancing. And as simple as covering our face when we go out to public spaces is going to make a huge difference. The Health Ministry has released a statement that details the type of face masks that can be worn and guidelines on how to use them. Meanwhile, Health Director General Dato Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah has urged the public not to be complacent on SOPs and added that the government may have to enforce the movement control order again if local transmissions continue to rise. Separately, those not wearing a mask in crowded places may face a fine of 1,000 ringgit when the mask mandate takes effect. <coughs> <coughs>